everybody, it's Jordan PDQ, and today we have special guest Marcel. Who, Hi. Oh, he showed us a unique way that he goes about building packaging that he uses with our products. That he figures while he's in town, as he traveled a few miles, he can show us the ins and outs of what he does best. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm using Vindra to create my custom packages. And I would like to share with you uh, the way how I do it. So we, if we go to this uh, folder, uh, you can see several files. Uh, you see a hashtag uh, setup.cmd. Uh, you see the installation files, which you can uh, use from your software. It doesn't matter. This is just an example. And uh, this uh, batch file uh, consists of all the commands you are usually using to install the batch file uh, or uh, to install the software you are using through either uh, deploy or connect. So instead of using the sound parameter within the package in yeah. our products, you're doing it within the command file that calls. Yes. Okay. And this batch file is the base for the self-extracting package, which is created via using uh, Vindra. And you, you mentioned this line down here on the bottom. You said this is to, if you wanted to set the product as the program default? Yeah, uh, the uh, set user FTA XZ is a free uh, tool uh, which you can download from internet and that allows you to set up the default applications for the user's uh, profile. All the settings uh, are uh, set in the in this uh, in this um, case in the irfanview.txt file, which is just a settings file which uh, uh, you is used to uh, pull all the associations uh, with the uh, appropriate extensions. Okay. And the way that you package it up with WinRAR doesn't happen default. There's a lot of settings you had to change. Yeah. And instead of going through those, we did screenshots just because we could add these beautiful arrows to mm -hmm. make it make it a bit easier. So the whole process is uh, actually really simple. Uh, you install WinRAR. Uh, at the moment of the recording, uh, we are using the version 6.21 because the current version 6.23 uh, has a little bug, so you, the self-extracting installer wouldn't work as expected. So you'd expect the next release probably has that yes, bug fix, uh, but it just avoid 6.23. Yes. Okay. So to set up uh, the uh, application, you just open the application, uh, click Add, and uh, set all the settings, you, which you can now see on the screen. You can um, uh, enter the name like underscore update dot xz which you can later rename to your software in this case it's a uh, if view underscore update dot xz so this basically appends to the end of the title of whatever package you're building yes okay and you said right here this one gigabyte isn't mandatory but you had it for a specific reason is it it is not mandatory but you can uh, specify the size of the archive in case your <clears throat> installation package, like, uh, for example, AutoCAD, uh, exceeds uh, five gigabytes, which is the limit of the single file uh, installer in Connect. Okay. All right, so the next one, we go to the Advanced tab and you click on the SFX options there. Yeah. And in there, so what's this run after extraction? Is that basically telling it to yes. run the command silent parameters that you built into yes. that folder? Okay. Yes. And, uh, and then... there, there are some settings which you can use or run uh, before extractions. But it's important to check the wait for return exit code. So <clears throat> uh, connect or deploy, receive the exit code from the application. It, if there is none, a zero is returned. Yeah, zero is generally success. If you have yes. a product that has a non-standard exit code, you'd want to make the change yes. right there. Okay. All right. The next point is uh, you have to check the unpack to temporary folder. So all the self-extract uh, uh, action is performed in the Windows temporary folder. If you don't, uh, it will extract uh, at the place where the package was downloaded and it stays there. So it does not do the cleanup which is required after the installation. And also uh, for the silent mode, uh, the hide all settings is uh, required because we are in the silent mode. Okay, so this won't break everything, but it will leave unwanted remnants behind after yes. the install. Okay. If not used. Right. So the next one, request administrative access from the advanced uh, tab. This is technically not required, but if you want to run the package on a device where you forget to run it as uh, admin, 
I mean directly from a thumb drive or something, uh, then it's uh, good to check this because then the uh, self-extractor asks for the permission, okay. like you are used to do. All right, and so the next one, check your place and overwrite files. This is, seems like more of a cleanup, so you're not leaving remnants. Th this is this is more about the cleanup. Okay. Uh, text and icons. So you said software update, which we put in there, but that wasn't necessarily necessary. What, what do you think? Uh, it's just uh, for the case where you install it manually somewhere, and you can see the uh, title in the win software extraction window. Okay. But it's not mandatory. It's, it's more of if you have to go back in and yeah. find out why there's an issue, yes. that helps you find it. So whatever is easy for you to search is mm -hmm. what goes in there. Okay. And the last one, you said this is important, and this is what is not working in yes. 2.6.3. Yeah. 2.61, and... the uh, default SFX is working. It's possible to install uh, the uh, version 2.63, but you have to replace the uh, default uh, SFX and default uh, 64 SFX files from these uh, this older version and you chose just the default 32 but this will work for the 64 and 32 yes installers. Th this will this will work for both uh, okay. 32 and 64 installers or voices okay all right so now we got I don't, i'm not sure high precision time format this uh, is to make sure this is a default setting okay. and i left it on because you never know when the time is important okay so just you we want to get down to microseconds yeah. and everything all right, so now we're back into the main one. You go to general, and this is where we're saving the profile. Yes. So save current profile, and then write this, save archive name. That's what we already set earlier. Yeah. And then profile name, create update. If you mm -hmm. check this add to context menu, this is when you right-click on something and you yeah. normally say uh, execute, this, ex execute or archive this, mm -hmm. it will add this profile that you've built yes. as an option mm -hmm. there. Okay. And it's a, the, the name of the profile is shown in the context menu. Okay. And the file name is uh, the file name that will be created in that particular folder. Okay, and then the last one is just... Th this just edit or delete edit the if profiles. If you make, make some mistake, you can uh, just clean it up or edit. All right, so now that we've seen all the settings, it's enough enough of our, our words, let's do the show one. So I'm just going to reach across you here for the now shift. You, so we're selecting every folder but the download. This is just where your download for yeah. the file is. You have that for your own That's just a helper file. Updates, yeah. yeah. Gonna right click and we built the one create update here. And, and it will just run right. and create the update.exe, which I now can rename. Rename and you want to put the Urfan view. Yeah. So we changed that the name. So now that we have the installer, we're ready to put it up into connect, connect or, deploy. or deploy. We're gonna yes. show connect because we like new stuff. All right, so it's just create package, name, well, name whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Irfan Princess view, so. Buttercup is uh, my preferred name for Irfan View. Oh, if you want to be professional about Test. it. I like yeah, it. I would, I, 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 you know, I no fix it. Ah. No, all right. So version, and this is where we. I probably should have looked at what the version was before I moved on to here, huh? Yeah, that's in the file name. Uh, 462. 462, yes. Let's do 4.62 because I'm making the ex uh, assumption there. It could yeah. be 46.2. We'll never know. Don't forget to set the timeout. Uh, to a higher number, recall oh, that 60, five, 60 five minutes, minutes. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do 60 just in case. Yeah, just we'll, in case. We'll take it that long, but it won't take better safe than yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So now we want, we're doing what, an install step, and this is where we add the file uh, that you included. Installer. There. Yes. So attach files and the desktop. desktop. Yes. Let's see. I, I know I, I built this. I should be able to find it. There we go. So that's yeah. in there. And you don't need to worry about the silent parameters because no, the, because it's already silent. The the batch file that you're included in that has the silent parameters in yes. there. Yes. Okay. So success code, that's no different. Yeah, that's all the default. You don't need to edit anything. All right, so let's see, attach files. No, 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 oh. not that. You have to go to attach uh, installer file, the first one. Oh. Because this is only... <laughs> oh, I was uh, looking at additional files. No, yeah, you have to use additional files if you have uh, the split archives. Okay. So in the case of the AutoCAD. I guess I should have learned that part before we went live, huh? Uh, yeah. It's all right. Jake's terrible at editing, so it's going to stay there forever. We're gonna no save that. He one. will edit it. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, and the, this all pop up is saying because we didn't put a silent parameter, yeah. but we covered that yes. one. So now we have that. That is going to be a silent install of Irfan View. They built four sixty two yeah. or thirty four, depending on the operating system. The depends on how, which installs do you use. Mm -hmm. I use usually only the thirty two bit version because there is no reason in this case to go sixty four bit. 
So the, the advantage of this, it looks like, first of all, being able to break it up for the larger installs where you showed yes. the one gigabyte. That's a big one for things like AutoCAD that have massive yeah. installers that mm -hmm. can help with that one. The other part is having everything in a single folder for you. So if you just had a yeah. list of your own personal repo and in there, I like this having the download page where you know, mm -hmm. check for updates. Just click and it opens the page where you download a new installer. All right, well, fantastic. Uh, hopefully, uh, I guess, because that's, that's your language. I get you now. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. All right. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this is uh, gives you some ideas or some creative juices. You can go out and find just a, a new way to do installs. I think this is a fantastic yeah, well, One of the big pluses for this is you can use the same installer for connect and deploy. And uh, you don't need to edit all the parameters because all those are included in the batch file. Yep. So the a very important part is make sure that your batch file is doing everything you want it to do. Yes. Yep. All right, well, I think this is a fantastic ad uh, for PDQ. I'm Jordan. That's Marcel. Marcel. Bye.